guys so i am going to be doing a full-on transformation video i'm gonna like do the full on like hair makeup outfit like you guys i don't even think this entire summer i actually got fully glammed up that is why like i haven't even been posting any youtube videos just because like i don't want to wear any makeup i'm just like enjoying my days outside spending time with my family and honestly like no regrets like i've really been enjoying this short season of my life where i just kind of put a pause on social media and just kind of lived a little bit more in the moment i look like this because honestly i'm just like i'm gonna jump into the shower look at my hair i literally lathered it in a hair mask just so it's like really conditioned <laughs> i look crazy so this is my body wash it has eight pure ingredients no fragrance none of that supernatural smells amazing love this stuff and then this is my shampoo i love the kerastase brand this particular line helps with strengthening your hair uh, preventing any breakage which is what i want because i want to grow my hair out nice and healthy so i just finished up my shower i moisturized with this nourishing oil it's the rose one i got this from home goods i always use some kind of body oil to moisturize because i do have dry skin if you guys are wondering the hair mask that i had it's the garnier fructis hydrating treatment it's a one minute mask but i wore it um i had it in through the night when i was washing this mask out you guys my hair was so soft like insanely soft after my shower if I am going to be curling it or straining it, I like to add this big sexy hair root pump. I get mine from Marshalls as well. This is $13 and this just adds texture at the root of your hair, giving you volume and like lifts your hair. Then I like to go in with a heat protectant. This is the same hairline as the shampoo and conditioner. It's the Kerastase Defense. Mm, I don't know, their names are always super bougie. I used to not ever put on heat protectant in my hair until I noticed the damage that my ends have. I'm just gonna spray in a lot of this heat protectant. Kind of like the inside of my hair. Do a little flip. And then I'm doing the outside. Just really making sure that I coat it good. This is kind of like a moussier consistency. I'm just sectioning off my hair. As you guys can see, I'm just spraying that in. Middle part. So now that I blow dried the actual product in my roots to activate it, I'm gonna do my skincare and I use Salima Skin Solutions. Love her skincare line. It's um, medical based skincare. So it is a little bit more on the pricier side, but it's nothing too over the top. It's so good. It works amazing. And um, I used to never use toner, but this Derma Glow toner really makes my skin soft and glow. Like it's amazing. I don't even use a cotton round, I just apply a little bit onto the palm of my hand. And then I just press. So while that is setting in, I'm gonna go in with my Bobbi Brown Extra Eye Repair Cream. I've used this for, for so many years. It's such a thick under eye cream. Just to hydrate that area and moisturize it. And then I'm gonna go in with the Salima Skin Solutions Ultra Hydra Serum. This is so lightweight, my cap totally broke, but it's so hydrating, very lightweight formula. Perfect for the summertime. It just gives you such a pretty glow, so I just pumped a little bit right there, and then I'm just gonna apply this all over my face. And it just like melts into the skin. And then any excess product, I just take it onto my neck and just blend it upwards. And that is basically it for my skincare. I, it's such a simple routine, but it just works so good for me. A little bit of chapstick to moisturize the lips. So now I'm going to further blow dry my hair and smooth it out the best I can. I'm just going to use a paddle brush. I don't know if it's the best technique, but it's just the fastest for me. So I'm going to continue. I don't know if I should curl my hair or straighten it. It's kind of like at that awkward length. I don't know. I think I'm going to do my makeup first and then um, get back to the hair. So I ordered a foundation from Sephora's website. I'm trying to find a really pretty dewy everyday foundation 
One of my favorite ones was the Benefit Hello Happy Foundation, but they discontinued it. It was the soft blur one. I think they like switched up the formula. I haven't tried that one out yet, but I saw this one on the Sephora website. I wanted to try this one first because I think it's going to be really good. So this is the foundation. It's the It Cosmetics You're Better your skin but better foundation and skin care it's a water light medium coverage radiant like natural finish i got the shade medium warm 32 i was really tan when i bought this hopefully this matches me <laughs> i'm kind of nervous but this is a real this is their oh i can make it work okay i can make this work especially if it's like a medium coverage okay yay improves bare skin in just two weeks i'm really excited it has a pump this foundation was 40 dollars. it is a little bit more on the pricier side it has one fluid ounces okay that's standard but i'm gonna try this out today and let you guys know how i like it i also repurchased this is the lancome uh, double action eye makeup remover this stuff is amazing to remove your makeup it's so gentle on the eyes you don't need a lot of this product it's seriously so awesome i just repurchased this as well this was also like 40 dollars crazy so for is so insanely expensive like two of these products it's 80 bucks but yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys because i'm really excited about this foundation so i just made some coffee i don't know why but i just always need to be drinking something while doing my makeup look at my mess it's really messy here but i wanted to share with you guys my little beauty room Whew, i just ran up the stairs i'm so out of breath right now it's really messy but i added a plant to my beauty room and this circular mirror i got from target it was like 60 dollars and my desk is from ikea once this is all clean and organized it looks so cute i love the little touch of green but yeah i'm gonna just sit here do my makeup i'm gonna try out this foundation hopefully it works let's get glam I don't know what kind of look I'm going to go for today. I definitely want to look bronzed and sun-kissed. The beauty of not doing your hair first, you can just move it out of the way so it's not going to like ruin your hair or anything. But you're not going to like have hair in your face, you know what I mean? For my eyebrows, what I've been doing, it's like my favorite thing ever. I use this Got To Be Ultra Glued Invisible, Invincible? Invincible yeah <laughs> styling gel it's so awesome for your eyebrows it just lays them down it looks like i got my eyebrows laminated i squeeze it on my eyebrows and then i just flatten out the hairs and then they dry out and they look so good that's literally all i do and it's like the best thing ever i have seen people do this trick before and once I started doing this in my routine, it seriously just looks so good. Like this is literally all I've been doing all summer long. For the eyes, I want to keep it very minimal. I'm going to put a little bit of this concealer from e.l.f. onto my eyelid just to conceal that darkness. And then I'm going to just use a little brush to blend this out. I like this headband better. It's like my little cat headband. But yeah, lately, like I haven't really been invested I don't know you guys like literally like i go through phases where i'm just kind of like i have to i have to film i have to film and then it like takes the fun out of it for me and i'm just like i really don't have to like it's not it's more so like a hobby for me right now i am working on other things aside from youtube so you know it's not youtube's not my main priority right now but i do miss you guys and it's fun to like get a video up every now and then so i thought today was like a perfect okay so for my eyes i think the urban decay naked reloaded eyeshadow palette is going to be perfect just because i want to play around with these tones here and then that gold is so pretty so i'm gonna go in with bucked first and i'm gonna take this along my lash line you can be as messy as you want because we are gonna clean up the mess afterwards this is the easiest way to get a smoky liner like saves you so much time from going in with tape or anything like that this seriously just gets the job done super fast and then I'm going to go in with Endgame, which is that dark, really dark brown. And going in with a little bit of a more tapered brush. I'm going to focus this even closer to that lash line. And then I'm going to take that blending brush and then just blend those two shades together. I don't buy makeup wipes anymore, but I still have some. So I'm going to just use it to clean up the mess from my lash line.
so easy. Then I'm gonna grab a little bit of this barely baked eyeshadow. It's just a really pretty gold. And I'm gonna take that on my lid. Just like to have a little pop of shimmer. I am gonna do a little bit of a wing just because I'm gonna probably do I want fake lashes? I don't know if I want fake lashes. This is too much for me. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab my Too Faced waterproof eyeliner and I'm going to try to do the smallest wing ever. Hopefully it works out because sometimes you know, you know how it is when you kind of want to do a short little wing and then you just keep extending it, extending it, and then it's all the way up here. Lightly line my upper lash line, like barely touching it. I'm gonna take some concealer and just clean up my little eyeliner. Okay, so moving on to foundation. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better foundation plus skincare. I am not going to add a primer just because we did skincare. My skin is feeling nice and tacky already. Alright, so I'm just gonna go in with the Iconic London. It's like an angled flat top kabuki brush. Ooh, it's like a perfect shade. Oh, that's so pretty. It's like my perfect shade right now. I'm so happy. So I did just a little bit under two pumps. I think this kind of foundation looks best when you use a brush just because it's so lightweight. If you use like a sponge, which you can, I think it will look good with a sponge too, but I just think the sponge might just soak up a lot of the product. I'm not applying too much foundation on my nose because I do have freckles that I like to show. I'm not going to focus too much on that, but around the forehead, temple area, yes, jawline. Definitely want to make sure you're bringing it past your jawline, you guys. So important. You guys, my skin looks flawless. It's definitely definitely wow okay wow it's like not even sponsored like i paid my own money I, it's such a new product there were like no reviews on sephora i think that's how new it was and the shade range from what i remember is a lot better with this one with this particular foundation all right so next we are going to conceal these dark circles i'm gonna just go in with the maybelline fit me concealer this one is in the shade sand I'm going to use this to conceal and then I'll probably go in with another one to brighten up my under eyes. Okay, maybe I'm going to do just like a dot of this elf one is in light sand. And then I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the Light Fair. While the powder is doing its thing, I'm going to work on my lower lash line a little, little bit. I'm going to grab a little pencil brush and going back in with the shades. I'm just going to play around with the browns. I'm going to do Bucked again and take that to my lower lash line to really soften up the eyes a little bit. And I am going to remove the excess powder now. I don't like it sitting too long on my skin. And then as I'm wiping it, I like to just kind of take it along the rest of my face. I am going to curl my lashes. Oh, speaking of lashes, I purchased a lash perming kit, like an at-home from Amazon. So I'm going to try attempting to, um, to perm my lashes, like do a lash lift at home. My friend does it, and she said it works just, just fine, so... Wish me luck, guys. It should be here tomorrow. Because I'm always curling my lashes, but if I can just make it naturally curly, that's... I'm going to just go in with the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. It's like right here, so I'm going to use this one. We're going to coat these lashes. So now I'm just going to bronze up with the NARS bronzers. This one is in the shade Laguna. Mm -hmm. So for blush, I want to, let's see here. I'm using a lot of NARS, but I just love them so much. I use this really pretty one. I think it's gonna look so nice with the tan. 
Let's do a little bit of highlight. I'm gonna do more natural highlight just because I'm not really into the super highlighted look right now. So I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. And we're just gonna hit the highest points of our cheekbones. This is such a like delicate highlighter. It's so beautiful. Gonna use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Gonna do the little cross and then diagonal. So for my lips, I'm gonna go in with NYX Lip Liner in Nude Beige. Yes, my favorite. And then I'm just gonna use a lip gloss on top. And that is it for the makeup part. Now, I don't know what to do with this hair. Do I do loose waves? Do I strain it? I don't know. All right, so for my hair, I'm using the Numi wand. This is the one inch curling, got my hair clip. This is the Way texturizing hairspray for afterwards. And then this is a little hair oil that I like to apply as well, just for some added shine. I got my brush and let's get to curling our hair. I'm just sectioning off my hair in little pieces and just like curling it to get really soft beachy waves. I'm listening to music and then here is the final hair look. Love the way it turned out. I'm so excited my hair is growing out and this is basically my natural color, hair color. For those of you guys wondering, this is all natural hair. Alright, so now that hair and makeup is done, I am going to change into my little outfit. Um, I got it from Lulu's. This has really cute, like, ruffly top. And then it has, like, a slit here. So it's super girly and feminine, and I love it. I am going to pair it with this cardigan over top, just in case it gets a little chilly in the evening. But yeah, I'm going to quickly change and show you the final look. So this is my final look. I just decided to go for some really soft waves. And then my dress is from Lulu's. It's such a perfect little summer dress. And then I love to pair it with like a really cute knit cardigan. I got this from Nordstrom like a long time ago. It just looks like this. And it's just like such a cute little outfit. Like I love it so much. But anyways, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching you guys. It's been so long since I posted. But hopefully you guys found this video interesting. This is like my first ever like full on like get ready with me when i do like the shower and the outfit the hair the makeup all right guys but that is going to be it for today's video i hopefully the hopefully the footage worked out i don't know it's been so long since i posted something but i hope you guys found this video interesting and enjoyed i'm gonna get going but i will see you in my next video bye